Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the Laplace transformation. Today we will discuss the inverse Laplace transformation. Myself, Dr. Gurk, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute. So we discussed that how you can define the Laplace inverse is there. This is the Lapl L inverse is the Laplace operator. If you apply on this f of s, we will get a function as a f of t. And these are some standard which we discussed in our last class that how we can find the Laplace and the Laplace inverse are there. What is the objective of this presentation is today we will see how you can solve the Laplace inverse of all, all those problems by using the shifting second theorem. When you, when you will recall that in which problem the shifting second theorem will be applicable, always remember whenever there is a term of the exponential present in the Laplace inverse, we will apply the shifting second theorem always. How we can apply them? Let's see in this couple of the examples. Now you can see there is a uh, exponential term present, so we will apply the shifting second theorem. How we can apply them? First part is that you can simply ignore this part and solve the whatever the remaining part is there. So since whatever the remaining is 1 upon s minus here. So we will firstly find this uh, Laplace inverse of this. Now here, this is the s minus a form. So how you can apply them? By using the shifting first theorem, you can apply L of t because a is my 2. So this is L inverse of here. Now once you will write like this way, what you can do, this is the polynomial term, I can multiply and divide by whatever the power of this, this is 4, I can multiply and divide by here. So all of you know that what is the Laplace inverse of, uh, what is the Laplace inverse of gamma of n plus 1 upon s of n plus, there is a power are same, this is nothing but t of n. So what is that, this is a 4, then if it is n plus 1, it is n, so I can write this as of gamma function of 4 of t of Cube. What is the gamma function of 4 is? That is nothing but my 3 factorial that is of the 6. Now once you are defining this here, now you can apply this Laplace. Compare this by here. What is the a? a is nothing but my 5. So you can replace, what is the rule of the shifting second theorem is? Replace t to be the t minus of a. So here in this case is 5. So I can replace this value as of t minus 5 t minus 5 and condition is whenever this is greater than of a otherwise 0 or we can write directly from here we can write directly as we can replace small t with the t minus 5 and h h is called as the unit step function and this is the required answer of this problem so let's see a couple of more examples are there again this is the exponential term we can firstly skip them and we will find the laplace inverse of this this is nothing but my here so how you can define that you can replace the value of t with the t minus a. What is the a is? If you compare them with the here, a is my pi. So what is that left by the shifting second theorem? It is nothing but replace this by t minus a. Or you can write like what is the sign of t minus pi? So what is that? I can take as a minus comma. This is sine pi minus t, which is nothing but my sine of t. So I can write this expression as minus sine of t. So once it is there, I can write this expression as of nothing but here. Or you can write directly as of sine of t minus pi and step function of t minus a r. Look at the another example are there. Again, you can see there is the exponential part present in both the examples. So again, we will apply the shifting second theorem. Firstly, we will make them a separate like here. What is that? This is a square. This is a. So this is nothing but my sine of 3t. And how you can apply that? We will try to solve this part firstly. What is that? This is nothing but my sine of 3t. But now this is a part of the exponential. So it means we have to replace in this case t minus pi. So it means instead of the 3t, what we can do is replace t by t minus a and multiply with the unit step function. So you can write. Now you can make them as a simplify. What is that? This is sine of 3t minus of 3 pi, I can take as a minus common sine of 3 pi minus of 3t. What is the sine of 3 pi minus of 3t? This is sine of 3t is there. So I can replace this value with the help of sine of minus 3t and this value is again sine of 3t. You can take them as a common if you want then this is the right answer. Again, you can see this is the exponential part, but firstly, we can take as a separate, we can take as a linear property here. Now, we can make them firstly calculation of this apart from the exponential. 
what is that this is nothing but my cos of pi t but due to this exponential part we will apply the shifting second theorem what is that replacing t with the help of t minus a so i can replace this by t minus a of unit step function of the h t minus a plus now for here we have to solve this part what is that answer of this is my sin of pi of t but what is the a in this case a is my 1 so i can replace here is t minus of 1 so i can replace as t minus 1 step function of the t minus 1 i can simplify them what will happen this is cos of pi t minus pi by 2 step function of t minus half i can open this bracket also this is pi t minus of pi step function of t minus 1 what is the expression of this so i can take minus common since cos is a even function there is no problem about that so what is that this is nothing but my sine of pi t i can replace this part as of sine pi t what is that i can take minus common so this is pi minus pi t what is the sine of pi minus pi t this is a sine of pi t so this value as a sine of plus pi t this value as a sine of minus pi t so i can write this expression as sine of pi t sine of minus pi t or you can take as a sine pi t common you can write like here where h is the unit step function look at the one more example are there again this is the exponential part are there so we can firstly try to solve this is the one upon here how we can solve them we can simply since this is the s square so this is the first method but since this is a s square are there so we can take as a double integration if this is a term of the s plus a like here this is the one s so we can take the one integration are there so the s square as a double integration and laplace inverse of this what is the laplace inverse of this part this is the e raised to power minus of a t now can you integrate them two times firstly you can take the integration with respect to t you will get this expression now again you can integrate them you will get this expression but our need is to include the, here we can replace the capital T with the help of T minus A. A in this case is my C. So what is the right answer of this? I can replace here. I can replace here and then multiply with the value of the T minus C R is the right answer. What is the second method is that you can simply use them as a partial fraction. What is that? I can write this as A upon S plus B upon S square plus c upon s plus a so on solving what you get you can easily get c as 1 by a square what is the value of the a you can easily get a as of i think 0 and what is the value of the b b you can get as the value of 1 by a what once sorry a will be your get as minus 1 by a square so once you will substitute here and then take the Laplace inverse you will get the same answer as of here for example if I say this is minus here plus b is my 1 by a of s c is my 1 by a square upon s plus a now if you take the Laplace inverse on the both side what is that what is the Laplace inverse of this this is 1 what is the Laplace inverse of this this is the s square this is the Laplace inverse of this is 1 by a of t and this is the E. So you can see that these are the same expression. So this is the way you can solve this second type of lap inverse Laplace. We will see some more examples like of this. As we have seen the, here is a S square. Then it's a double integration. So we will see some more division by the T rules. When what will happen if the S cube. It's a S and many more are there in our next part. That is a part 3 of this inverse Laplace. Till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos. Best of luck students. Happy learning.